Good day! In this video, we are going to talk about the skills that make a strong reader. What does a skilled reading look like? How do children become strong and skilled readers? To become a strong reader, one must possess these following skills. Early literacy skills, phonics, fluency, comprehension, and of course, vocabulary. Let us further discuss this five. Early literacy skills. It is the building blocks for learning to read successfully. There are three key points to remember under this category. One is print awareness. Young children need to learn some basic things about how books work. Let's say, for example, how to read from left to right and top to bottom. Next, we have letter knowledge. Learning the names or letters of the alphabet and being able to recognize their shapes are really important. Last is phonemic awareness. Before kids can learn to read, they need to understand how the sounds in spoken language work. This includes the ability to identify individual letter sounds and hear each sound that makes up a word. Then we have phonics. It is at the heart of early reading instruction. Children learn to use phonic skills to match letters to their sounds, to sound out, or decode words. For example, the letter B stands for the sound B, and your child can blend these sounds together, B, A, T, and read the word bat. Sight words. Sight words are the most common words your child will encounter while reading. Words like was, that, and said. Children learn to read sight words as whole words rather than sounding them out using phonics. Fluency. It is reading sounds smoothly and naturally. It is the way people sound when they talk. The biggest way that children build fluency is by doing lots of reading. Achieving fluency has a tremendous impact on young readers. Since fluent readers don't have to work at decoding words, they're free to pay attention to meaning. Plus, when reading feels easy and natural and kids understand what they're reading, it's fun. Fluency is the gateway to a love of reading. Comprehension is the ability to understand what you read. It is the reason we read, to get meaning from the words on the page. Good readers actively engage with a story and identify the characters. A good reader is able to explore the meaning of a story and connect it to his or her own life. How do children build comprehension? They need a foundation of solid decoding skills and fluency and a strong vocabulary. Lastly, children need to do a lot of reading to build comprehension. Vocabulary The need to understand the meaning of the words they read. Children learn vocabulary in a variety of ways. They learn some words through direct instruction. It's also helpful for students to learn strategies for dealing with unknown words, such as using context clues or analyzing the meanings of word parts like root words, prefixes, and suffixes. From kindergarten through high school, Kids read a whole range of nonfiction, including books, textbooks, name it. So, what are the strategies for reading nonfiction? First, is this they use their reading skills to learn new information and ideas. At this point, students begin to develop critical thinking skills and take a different kind of approach to reading, one that's active and analytical. They learn to identify key concepts and recognize how text is organized so they can follow the development of ideas and keep track of important information. They learn to monitor their own comprehension so they can fix any gaps in their understanding. They summarize what they've read in order to cement it in their memory. And you know what? Strong reading skills really pay off. How? Children who have strong reading skills develop a lifelong love of reading. It feels enjoyable. 
the more your child enjoys reading, the more he or she will want to do it. They feel like they are inside the story, experiencing the adventures right along with the characters. And of course, reading expands children's horizons and shapes the way they see the world. They have deeper understanding of those around them, the people around them, and they themselves. And of course, last but not the least, reading enrich child's life. Indeed, reading is a passport to countless adventures.